I'm working on my second tail of my snowshoe and um, I only have two more uh, things to do here but these are kind of different so I wanted to go over it again so I'm right now at hitch 21 okay and I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna go over this it's a little bit different for this last one over the hitch above it and then I'm gonna come down and fill in this area here and then this is 23 and 24 down here and then I have one more to go up here before I finish it and that'll be 25 so I'm over the top this is a right and rights go under the horizontals and over the lefts over the left under the horizontal and continuing until I'm all the way down here Under that last horizontal and then I'm going to do a girth hitch here to do my last two on the outsides of the frame and then I'm going to come over here so, and if you look at this, you think, oh, well, they're done. But you can see that there's like an open space here yet to be done. So, I'm going to finish this girth here. And then this is a left. And lefts go under the rights and on top of the horizontals. So I'm going to do that all the way up. And then when I get up here to the top, I'm going to do a cinch knot. Okay, and a cinch knot basically looks like, oh, it's an overhand, just like we normally did, over on top here. And then it comes around it. it again. Got to do two going arounds. There's your first going around. And tuck it underneath there. And then it goes around again. Yep. So you see you have two there. And then it goes up through both of them and you tighten them up a cinch knot. So I'm going to make sure this is good and tight and then I'll cut that off and I'll burn that. So, but then you have like the completed tail. Yeehaw! So if that was your first one, go ahead and do the second one. And then we'll go on to the toe. Okay, so we have both of our tails done, and now we're going to do our toes. And the first thing we're going to do on our toe is we're going to wrap the upper toe part before we start doing the actual uh, webbing weave on it again. So you'll see on this one that I've, I've gone ahead and marked using uh, the ruler in the kit my stations once again. Now I haven't done the ones up here because of the wrap. You do the wrap first and then you do the uh, girth hitches and the pattern over top of it. So 
That's what it's going to look like finished. So let's get started. So what I did is I took the toe section and I lined it up here and I put my pencil marks on there. Now you see there's two more stations up here, but that's actually going to be where the wrap is. So um, you don't have to mark them with a pencil because it's not going to show up because you're going to wrap it. So what I do too here is just for a mental note for me, it says I make a T here that tells me this is where the toe wrap starts. So the toe wrap is going to be from here to here. Okay. So I've already got it marked and I've got my tubing cut. So I'm going to start on the right side and go to the left. This is where my wrap starts. There's a T for tubing and I'm going to put like two inches down on top and I'm going to start wrapping on top of it. And when you do these wraps, you want it to be a little bit of an overlap, not a whole bunch, but a little bit. And then I'm just going to keep wrapping around here. See that I'm covering that up all the way over to here. So it's pretty simple. And I'm trying to overlap it just a little bit. They're always really generous in their measurements. You'll end up with a lot of little bits and pieces of leftovers. And that's okay. So you can see I'm going to wrap all that up all the way around. And I'm going to keep going here. Until I cover that up. And all the way around that toe until over here. I'm not going to bore you with this whole process. But once I get it wrapped, I'll show you how I end it. Okay, so I've wrapped all the way around and here's my mark. So now what I want to do is I want to wrap around my finger for about uh, four or five times. What I'm doing is I'm leaving a hole so I can pull that through. So this is like the fifth time. Okay. So, I don't want to lose that, so I'm going to use my loosely on your finger just to hold that up while I thread that through. And then I'll move these back over it and tighten that up. And a little overlap. And then I'll pull that one tight. And that's all there is. So then I'll cut that off and then I'll uh, burn it so it doesn't come out. So there's your toe. That's pretty easy, huh?